The mainstream media is focusing all of their attention on Joe Biden dropping out of the election, and it's almost as if they want us to move on or forget the fact that, I don't know, they just tried to take out Donald Trump a little over a week ago. And even when they talk about the Donald Trump situation, it's like everyone's just talking about the Secret Service, the Secret Service director, and I get it, but... What happened to talking about Thomas Matthew Crooks? We still don't know much about this guy at all. And there's not really anyone talking about him on the news. It's almost as if there is an effort to kind of, I mean, I don't really want to say, but it seems like there's an effort to kind of move away from Thomas Matthew Crooks. It seems like there's an effort to kind of avoid that topic just a little bit. But I do know that his father was tracked down and confronted while leaving the grocery store recently. And the scene that played out, it reminded me of the Gabby Petito case when they were following around um, Brian Laundrie's parents wherever they went. But even when I watched this clip that I'm about to show you, it really dawned on me like, wait, you know, usually in these situations, you probably would have heard more from the parents by now. I'm surprised that the news hasn't been hounding these people more than they have, but I think it's because they don't really want these people talking much. I don't think they really want you to know too much about Thomas Matthew Crooks, and I don't think they want you to know too much about his parents because I think that they want to be in control of the narrative. They want to paint the picture for you. So the more details you get, the better you can put the picture together yourself, and that's not what they want. But let's go ahead and roll this clip, and then I'll be Matthew, right back. why would your son want to kill the president? Back off. No comment. No comment. Were there, were there any warning signs, Matthew? No comment. How's Mary holding up? No comment. We'll release a statement when our legal counsel advises us to do so. Until then, we have no comment. We just want to try to take care of ourselves right now. So please give us our space. Have the feds. Watching this clip, I get the sense that they're not being completely honest about these people. And maybe that's the reason why they haven't really been going out of their way to interview them. Maybe that's the reason why they seem to be so tight lipped when it comes to Thomas Matthew Crooks. But here's one thing I do know you know, they've painted out these people to be like hardcore right-wing, conservative, Republican, Trump supporters, whatever you want to call them. But I don't see anyone on the right, I don't see any Republicans, conservatives, Trump supporters walking around wearing masks in the year of 2024. Now, I know some people have questioned, wait, is this a disguise? No, if this was a disguise, the dad would be in disguise too. No one even knows who this other person is. And seeing this person, their huge mask on, covering their face, it reminds me of the details that we heard about Thomas Matthew Crooks. That Thomas Matthew Crooks was walking around wearing a mask well after the beer bug, and that's one of the things that people made fun of him about. Well after the restrictions lifted, well after, you know, everyone else stopped, he was walking around all the way masked up. And so is this other person from his household. So that right there really sticks out to me. It sticks out to me because that doesn't line up with everything else we've heard. Listen, Republicans, conservatives, the right, Trump supporters, whatever you want to call these groups of people, they weren't even wearing masks in the height of the beer bug, in the height of the lockdowns. They're definitely not wearing masks in 2024. So even though it's just a small little detail to cling on to, it's enough to show me that we're not getting the whole truth. And this is probably why they've kept a distance. This is probably why we haven't heard as much from these people as you think we would have. And this is probably why they're trying to move this news story as far away from Thomas Matthew Crooks as possible. Direct all your anger, you know, at the Secret Service, the head of Secret Service. You know, pay attention to this, pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to what Thomas Matthew Crooks had going on. Don't question, you know, the details about his family that we've provided you all. But yeah, the mask, it's a dead giveaway. It is a dead giveaway. And that's just me being honest. 
But I know some people are going to question what's with all the groceries and, and stuff like that. Listen, I think that these people want to hunker down. They don't want to be bothered. He's also a big guy. He probably bought a lot of groceries because he doesn't want to leave the house too much because he don't he doesn't want to run in to the media. But we're going to have to just watch and see how this plays out. Honestly, right now, it seems like there's kind of an active effort to kind of just let's kind of brush that away and let's focus on these other major events that are happening. But I'm going to keep my attention on this story. And if, I, if I'm not updating you all here, I'll be updating you all over on my new channel, Political Cinema. So go subscribe over there as well. It's a channel that I created so I can really focus on this story and all of the crazy stuff that's going on in politics and stuff right now. So go um, over there and subscribe if you're interested. If not, that's fine. But for now, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.